How to easily tenderize a fried steak. It gets super tender. In a large saucepan over medium-low heat, start by adding one tablespoon of unsalted butter, one half medium onion chopped into small cubes, and stir until the butter fully melts and the onion slightly wilts. When that happens, add one medium grated carrot and stir fry for one minute. Next, add four cooked and mashed medium potatoes, a 240 milliliter cup of milk, and stir until incorporated into the carrot. Now, for seasoning, add one teaspoon of salt, one generous pinch of black pepper, one pinch of nutmeg, and stir until incorporated. Finally, add 50 grams of grated Parmesan cheese and stir once again. This is the right cooking point. You may now stop stirring and set aside. Once you've done that, in a small glass dish, add one cup of wheat flour, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of dried onion, black pepper to taste, one teaspoon of dried garlic flakes, one pinch of salt, mix until the spices incorporate into the flour. Leave us a comment with the name of the city from which you're watching this. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. And set aside. Next, put six beef steaks in a large bowl and season them with one teaspoon of salt, the juice of one half lime, three crushed garlic cloves, one pinch of black pepper, one half medium onion chopped into small cubes, and mix well until the spices incorporate into the meat. Now coat all these steaks in the wheat flour we prepared just like this. After that, in a large skillet over medium low heat, add one drizzle of olive oil. And once the oil is hot enough, add the steaks and fry them until both sides are golden brown. If you made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. This is the right cooking point. You may now remove from the skillet and soak up the excess oil on a plate lined with paper towels. Finally, serve the steaks with the mashed potatoes we prepared. That recipe is ready. You may now get one and enjoy it. I really hope you liked this recipe. Now I'll head back to the comments section and we'll continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.